my channel. Today I am going to be doing another DIY. 90% um, of the materials are from Dollar Tree. There was a couple I had to pick up um, from other locations because they didn't have it at Dollar Tree, which they usually do. So this is the thing that I am going to be trying to make today. Um, changing a little bit of the ways that this person did it so I can make a mile. This can be purchased at the Dollar Tree. Um, all of my Dollar Trees were out. I think it might just be a um, spring item uh, because it's weird that all of them would be out if they uh, weren't getting rid of the item. And so what I'm going to do first is paint this black and I went ahead and I have this little sponge and if that doesn't work I have a paintbrush so I'm gonna go ahead and paint real quick I'm gonna be using chalk paint um, I got this from Michaels I've had this for probably a year when I used to make wood signs just about every day and I've got tons left because um, you don't need a lot and it dries so fast um, so I'm going to go ahead and paint this real quick and then we'll get started on our next uh, step. Alright, so that is done painting. It is pretty much dry, but just to be on the safe side, I am going to move it over here to allow it to dry just a little bit longer and move on to our next step. Got this little styrofoam piece from the Dollar Tree. It came in a pack of two. And so what I'm going to be doing is drawing a circle because it has excess from the pot. Um, and I'm gonna cut it out with my X-Acto knife. And um, I'm gonna, see it's already dry. That's why I love it so much completely dry. Okay, so I'm going to draw with a black marker the outline and then cut it out. Okay, so my intentions were to use E6000 glue, and it looks like my toddler stole it. It's very new, um, so nothing to be worried about there. So we're gonna use hot glue, so I'm waiting for that to heat up. Okay, and so we are just gluing just to make sure that it stays in place, which I think it's going to anyway, but just to be on the safe side. Great. Next, we're gonna start putting our pumpkins on. But as you can see, it has um, a lot of that white showing. So what I'm going to use next is reindeer moss that you can get from the Dollar Tree. And we're gonna glue it on. Okay, I'm just gonna glue.
old pumpkin, which is going to go right in the center. So we didn't need to fill the center. So I just left all of that space open. pumpkin on. We're going to add a little bit of the moss. it's so wobbly I have these little sticks I think That is a lot sturdier. I like that idea. Okay, now we're going to, you know, I think I'm gonna add the last pumpkin and then we're gonna add the um, moss. And um, let's add just another one. Okay, I am going to clean this off real quick and show you the finished look. Okay guys, here is the final look of our pumpkin planter thing. I'm not really sure what to call it, but I love it. I think it is so cute. So just to go over how much everything cost, like I said, I had to get my little um, planter from Michaels because none of my stores had them. They are sold at Dollar Tree. 
Um, but for mine, I had to get it at Michael's for $2.09. That was with membership uh, discount. I already had the chalk paint. You could probably get that at Michael's as well for about $2 for a little bottle, which will last you months. Um, the reindeer moss right there, that was a dollar for that entire bag. I didn't even use half the bag, so we could do this again. Each of those pumpkins were a dollar each. I had to get that styrofoam um, that we put in there first, and that came with a two pack, so I have another one I can use. That was also a dollar. And then obviously we had to use um, the hot glue and the hot glue gun, which I found out that they do sell hot glue at the Dollar Tree, um, but I got both of mine at Michael's. Um, I think a bag of 40 costs about $6, and the glue gun you can get for like $5. Uh, so pretty, pretty cheap. And then you can see my reverse canvas. I'll tag that video if you haven't seen that quite yet. These are also from the Dollar Tree, um, these little pumpkins. I just put some vinyl on those. Thought they were super, super cute. I think this ties this little corner very well. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed watching. Stay tuned for our next video.